Magazine! Hey everyone, welcome back to our Monster Hunter World walkthrough videos and we're going to be taking on the Hellish Fiend Val Hazak. And to prepare for it, we've got the Dober Armor on, which gives us a lot of dragon defense, and it also gives us dragon resistance up to level three, as well as a full complement of attack boost. So hopefully we can take it down relatively quickly. And our weapon is the Nurgle Gash, which is dragon element, which is one of its weaknesses. So again, hopefully all of this comes together and it's a relatively, fingers crossed, straightforward battle. Okay, so here it is, the hideous beast that is Val Hazak. Okay, so now we're just trying to get in some attacks. We're doing all right. Getting in some good old hits. Okay, it's managed to move us around. Just trying to stay out of the way of its crazy hits. Just gonna get rid of the sword for a second that we can uh, try to get some damage in. Okay, managed to get us a little bit there. We're just gonna drop the health booster here. Take us back up. But you can see it's managed to take our health down to half of where it was. So that is incredibly annoying. So suddenly, it's very difficult to, uh, to make it through. Okay, so we're in a good position, but it managed to round us. But luckily, we've got the uh, health booster, so we're just standing here wailing away. But there we go, you can see it got us with the effluvian. And again, we're just trying to wail away at it. And roll it out. Not sure if we'll be able to get back to the health booster in time. Yeah, just about, just about. Okay, so you can see it's taken our health down to pretty much half of where it was. So we're gonna try and throw in another max potion. And see if that does anything. Sure. <laughs> no, it didn't. Do not waste your max potions, guys. Okay, so we're just in a decent position again. Trying to get in some good hits. I kind of think this is going to take one hell of a long time. And it's got us with the effluvian again. So we're just gonna drop a mega potion. Try and take us back up a little bit. We're also gonna drop a standard potion as well. And then we're gonna try and get in some damage. Okay, so unfortunately we got the uh, sword slows us down a bit, so we're just going to drop that out of the way and try to come around it. Okay, good hits on the head. I think we kind of need to roll. It's kind of getting out of the way a little bit. Going to do some damage now. Yes. But you can see it's managed to take Half of our health once again. Kind of makes it really difficult to take it on. Okay, so we're just trying to uh, get in some good hits again. You can see it has put us in a really dangerous position. Because it's so difficult. To, uh, to keep your health. <laughs> and then it looks like we've been got again. So we're going to be going through quite a lot of our potions. 
but our cash just helped us a little bit. Okay, so it's running away for the first time, and we're on the hunt. So we're just gonna sharpen up a little bit, and it really hasn't gone very far. We're just getting out of its way. Get in some hits. While it's right here. So we're just literally wailing away now. And we're just trying to round out of the way of that because it kind of looked like it was going to be some kind of crazy, crazy attack. We managed to get our health back, which is quite good. So just trying to get into a good position with it. It's landing quite nicely. And doing quite a lot of damage. There's a big 98 somewhere in and amongst all of that. So getting in some huge, huge hits. Big 56. In such a great position, if you can get stuck behind it like this, then you can do some real big damage. Let's see, we got a hit on the head, but it managed to come around us. So I need to shake that out. And then just need to drop a standard potion, we kind of think. And then just gonna go back in. Try and uh, try and repeat that process. Okay, so trying to get <laughs> a bit of damage here. Quite a nice one. So we're just trying to wail away at it. While it's right here. Need to roll. You can sort of see that it was coming for us and again. Kind of whenever it looks like it's going to drop its head, you know it's going to come for you. Okay, so we're just putting ourselves in a good position, getting in some good hits. Some really nice hits, in fact. So we're slowly chopping it down, we think. It's down on the ground. So hopefully we can get in some big damage. going to get underneath it and start chopping. Roll it out of the way. Looks like it's coming in for a bit of a lunge. Get in some good hits. Okay, managed to get us, so we kind of think we're going to mega potion up. to avoid all of that craziness. Get in some good hits. We're just gonna roll underneath this. We're managing to get in some good hits here for some reason. Doesn't seem to be doing a great deal. So we're just sort of blasting away at it. Hopefully we can get in some more hits now. Okay, it really got us there. That was quite a big hit. Can't really see what's going on. Need to get out of the way. Mega potion. And it looks like we are taking damage. But that's okay. It's on the run, it's on the run. So we're gonna on the hunt again and we're gonna sharpen up. So we managed to find it again and you can see our health gauge has gone back up to being full tilt but our health hasn't recovered to full tilt. Sadly we missed that big hit and uh, we got hit quite badly there. So we're just going to head on over and get that bigger wasp. There we go, I managed to get in a few hits as well. 
Got to get out of the way of whatever it's doing now. Here we go, we're in a good position to do some good damage. And we're going to drop the health booster. Take us back to full health. We're just going to get in close enough to be able to do some damage. We're just wailing away while we're underneath it. Now I'm going to try and check the shit up. Again, get in close enough. Get on some really big hits with the sword. We roll out of the way. Now we've got close enough, hopefully, to be able to deliver this. They managed to shake us off. I'm just trying to get in some hits. Hopefully we can attack some of this before it gets us too badly. Okay, managed to get out of the way of that. And then again, we're underneath it so we can just chop away. I managed to round on us. So we're just going to do a bit of a runner. It is limping really quite badly now. It's definitely, hopefully, on its way to go for a little bit of a sleep. And we can drop some bombs. But it hasn't gone to sleep. Essentially, it's just turned on us. I really expected it to uh, go to sleep then. We're in a really good position to get in some good damage. A big 8 to 9 there. And hopefully we can take it down relatively soon. So we're just going to get out of the way. Next attack. We really need the health booster because it's taken us down to half of our health. So to ride out this particular storm, which is going in with the health booster. Which looks like it is helping us a lot. Okay, so we're underneath it, so we're just gonna chop away. Get in some good hits. And again, it's sort of limping off by the looks of things. Okay, so it is finally asleep. And it looks like we've managed to find its head. So we can drop a couple of large barrel bombs and then drop a couple of standard barrel bombs. And then we're gonna roll out of the way and let that damage sink in. And hopefully it's not too far from going now. We're just going to run on in, get in some hits. Got to be getting close to completion. Come on, big hit with this. Yes, nice. Okay. Thinking it's got to be going soon. Got us a little bit. I think the tail's gone. So we're just going to quickly get the tail. There we go, just about got it, we think. Move out of the way of whatever the hell it's doing. Okay, so. It looks pretty beleaguered. We've got to be going soon, guys. There we go, that's Valhazak done. That's it guys, that's how you take down Val Hazak. So it's probably the easiest of all the Elder Dragons to take down. It's got that attack that takes half of your health out of the equation. But to be honest, it's not that big a deal if you've got a health booster to keep yourself ticking over. And then it's just a case of trying to get underneath it and then wailing away and getting in as much damage as possible. Kind of think our armor helped, 
which gave us a lot of protection against dragon attacks and it also gave us a significant attack boost so you can go for the Dober armor if you want to do that yourself and that's it thanks for tuning in to our walkthrough video make sure you subscribe to our channel with the links on the left hand side and you can check out the rest of our Monster Hunter World videos with the links on the right hand side. Smash that like button, leave any comments below and share online. Cheers guys, goodbye.